Well, hello, uh, Jeb from Jeb's Projects. Follow up to the OCXO uh, project here. Uh, I talked to the company and they just gave me a run around. So, I pretty well have it. I've got uh, pretty well locked together. She's still moving a little bit, but what I had to do was take and put a 150k ohm resistor from the voltage control on the oscillator to ground. That allowed me to take it below 10 megahertz so that I could get it locked in. Uh, here's what here's the control. Uh, let me get the tuning on it. I'm going to turn it counterclockwise, and you'll see the bottom one speed up. That's because it's above 10 meter, above 10 megahertz. Turning it counterclockwise raises the frequency. Now we'll go clockwise or counterclockwise raises the frequency. Clockwise lowers the frequency. So we'll go clockwise, and you see it slow it down. That's if I can stay into the uh, adjuster. And there, clockwise. If I keep going clockwise, you see it start to move the other direction. That's because I'm too I'm below 10 megahertz. It's you remember it's triggering on channel one which is the GPS DO so where we got to do is get her to stop right there and not drift either direction she's well warmed up so now at this point we just sit here and let the thing cook for a bit and make sure it doesn't drift We'll have to adjust, tweak it just a little bit on this, just to get the frequency locked in, to get the two so it's not drifting. Okay, well, that worked, so we'll catch you a little later. Jab out.